What's up guys? My name is James Norton and this video is going to be a kind of topic that I really want to talk about in, with you guys. So apparently whenever I'm out like into like the public or wilderness or something like that, I hear people most of the time and also on YouTube say curse words. I mean, I mean, I mean, as Christians, for me, sometimes we say curse words, but that, but it just slips out. For me personally, when I was part of Other Smosh with uh, me, me and my dad, we always had uh, time to think about what we were going to say to replace the words that Ian and Anthony said in their videos. And apparently, whenever we say, like, different words to replace them, like the F word, we would use mess or the S word, like, uh, shoot, or, like, or crud, or sometimes crap. But what I want to talk about is the fact that people who say curse words in real life can be stupid. Like, why are they so stupid saying curse words? It's just, it's just so wrong. And also, people who say lots of curse words is if, if they have Tourette syndrome, corpulalia, if you know what that means. Of course, with corpulalia, it's really hard to explain what it's like. So I decided to try something out, to try something out. I decided to ask my parents uh, what, it, what, what it's like when people say curse words. So how about we go downstairs and we ask them um, why people say lots of curse words. And plus this is... Hey mom and dad, yeah. I'm making a video because this video I'm talking about is people who say curse words can be stupid, you know? Okay. So, mom, do you hate it when people say curse words in real life? I really do hate it. I think it's offensive, and um, no matter what they're what's bothering them, they shouldn't say it out loud. Oh uh, yeah. So, uh, what's the worst word that you ever hear in real life? The F word. Yes, the F word. To replace the F word, you have to. It says saying F W is saying messed up. That's perfect. And also, guys, with people. Like Danny, the Tourette's guy, would say uh, lots of curse words. I don't know if it's uh, fake or is that an actual thing. Pretty sure, pretty sure it's fake. You yeah. know. Yeah, I think his excessive cursing is is probably fake to make it interesting. Although people with Tourette's do blurt out bad words every now and then, but not like he talks. Right. Also, people who don't have Tourette's syndrome can also say curse words too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes as Christians, we say curse words, but it slips out. That's right. When we do it, it's unintentional. Unintentional. It's an accident. Yeah, it's just an accident. But that doesn't mean we can't work on it. That's true. We can work on it, absolutely though. absolutely can. But people who have Tourette's syndrome can't. That's, they, ha they have a hard... Their brain doesn't stop them from saying those words. The part of their brain that knows those words um, just automatically says that there's no filter in their brain to say, okay, I shouldn't say that out loud. They just say it. Sorry guys, just dog next door. But don't worry, my dad's taking care of it. Yeah. Archie dad. Yeah. And his, um, his mom and dad have just run out to get some dinner or something and they'll be back shortly and he'll stop. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, with, uh, with curse words, now people on YouTube why would they say curse words? Well, unfortunately, in our American culture, in our society here, it's acceptable to say curse words, and it kind of makes it more interesting for um, viewers to watch videos that have curse words in it. It's like a something they know they shouldn't be doing, but they like to watch it. Yeah. It's just our culture. Uh, people who speak a different language can also say curse words mm -hmm. too, but there's no need for them to also use it either. No. And I think part of the YouTube um, 
guidelines is that if somebody uses excessive curse words on there, they'll they'll pull their account. Oh uh, yeah, and also get it flagged too. Yeah. So if it if they get enough complaints that because it was so bad, like you know, unfortunately, YouTube allows um, some curse words to happen, but you know, otherwise they. If it gets too bad, they're going to flag their account. If they get three mm -hmm. strikes, they're out, right? Yep. Three, strike three, your uh, oh. your account gets suspended. That's right. Well, I you know, and for me, like, whenever I hear uh, curse words in movies or something like that, if you watch uh, movies... There would be an unrated version where the curse word is removed and they say a different word. And for the most part, that's actually just as interesting, right? Yeah. To have them say a different word that's not a curse word. Yes. Sometimes they don't need to say some of the words they say. Okay, that's yes, true. Dan. Yeah, what? Um, do not get a knife and hurt Ozzy. That's animal abuse. Yeah, and, and since we know they're going to be back from dinner soon and he's going to stop, we can kind of tolerate it a little bit, right? It's easier when we know there's an end to it quickly. Yep. That's great, though. So why is that people have to be so stupid saying curse words? Why do people have to be so stupid leaving their dog outside? Yeah, and, and it was just an oversight because they're, like I said, they, they're going to get used to locking the dog door just like they did today when they went to work. And so they probably were home and kind of relaxed and then decided to go to the grocery store or something and just forgot to lock it. So it's just a habit they're going to get into. And they're really, really nice people. And Ozzy's That's really true. a good dog. He just That's likes true. to bark. Hey, Dad, I, can I give you a suggestion? Sure. If next time if you hear Ozzy bark, how about you keep a watch on him? And if he ever, like, comes back out, just go over, like, cross the gate and just make sure he doesn't come out and just wait for him to come home. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, just keep watch. Yeah, that's a very good strategy, sweetie. So I called Miss Treva and just left a message. And so if they can call tonight, they'll call us, okay? Yeah, I noticed the voicemail. Okay, great. But you see, guys, this is why people say curse words on YouTube. And for all of you guys out there, try not to say any curse words to me. Because here's the thing. With people leaving rude comments... Oh my gosh, you guys need some discipline now. You guys need to go to, like, prison if you leave any kind of those comments to me. What's the worst part is saying, is leaving uh, rude comments. Do you hate when people leave rude comments? I do. It's not, you know, everybody that does YouTube works really hard on their videos. Yeah. And um, for them to leave rude comments is just not very nice. Yeah. Kind of chicken because they're hiding behind the keyboard and you know instead of saying something to somebody face to face, so they you know you type mean stuff because they know nobody will know who they are. Yeah, I know. Hey, mom. Yep. If you were like, here's the thing: if you were to make like any kind of these things, what would you say to people if they leave rude comments? If they don't like that person, what would you say to them? Well, I would say that um, we appreciate your feedback, but if you don't like to watch my channel, please don't watch it. Because there's plenty of people that like it. But that doesn't mean you can leave rude comments, though. Right, and you, you, you don't need to leave rude comments. Just say, I don't really like your channel. And they're just doing it to get the reaction, and then the person that has a channel will say something back, and then they'll kind of go back and forth. Yeah. It happens. And the thing uh, with Anthony, who left Smosh in June of 2017, the fans were really, like, sad that he left. But to me, I was just uh, accepting what he was doing now. And that's wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's a, I just stay away from those comments, yeah. you know. Of course, there is the door is always open for him to return one of these days. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. But that's he's good. doing great on his channel. He yeah. is, and the other people are doing really well trying to, you know, make something of themselves without him. So it's a good thing for everybody. Yeah. And look at this movement. This is so cool. Okay. And this is why people should never leave any rude comments or say curse words on the internet. It's just really messed up. Here's the thing. 
here's this golf ball, and this would be you. If you said, if you leave any kind of these rude comments or say curse words in front of me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw you in the river so you drown, and you will never live again. <sighs> but for some of you that don't leave any rude comments, then you guys are okay. But, and I apologize, because there was a dog next door, his name is Ozzy. He barks sometimes, it's a little annoying, but his owners will be back soon, so they'll take care of it. And trust me, they're doing the best they can. <laughs> but, thank you guys for watching this really, uh, really serious video, and I hope you guys learned from it. Make sure to give a big thumbs up, and leave a comment letting me know your story when you heard someone say a curse word, or if they left a rude comment on your YouTube channel, even if you don't have one. And also, ask your parents or your caregiver or your friends if they had any experiences. Because we all have experience on hearing people with these really rude, um, rude obscenities. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching this video. And before I go, I have a VHS tape coming in probably this Wednesday or Thursday, depending. And I will, and I also have, and I'm also getting a Blu-ray that I'm ordering tomorrow, which will also come this Wednesday. And I'll let you know what that is when I put it in the comments of this video. So, thanks guys, and see you then.